Hey everybody, it's Joyce at Shadow Bay Tarot with a little on yap, and I will be recording the love readings for the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I will timestamp this video, and we are already closing out November, guys. December is right there. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support from you guys. And remember the winter solstice giveaways. Um, I'm still looking forward to having a lot of you guys participate in that. It is for subscribers only. The drawing for the winter solstice giveaways is December 17th. And I will make a video and put it out around 7 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And that video will show me pulling, you know, the names for the Winter Solstice drawing. And also, you can look on my YouTube channel here for the video explaining the details of how to be eligible and what to do to enter the winter solstice giveaways also my private personal readings are still on holiday special to december 31st so please if you're interested in getting a reading to find out what your personal messages are for you and your situation just email me at shadowbayutero at gmail.com and let's get started guys all right remember subscribe give me a thumbs up woo, and share my videos i appreciate it and i appreciate your time all right we are going to adjust here and we're going to begin with cancer um it'll be cancer pisces then scorpio and i will time stamp so no issues there and i'm going to make sure i'm still recording here yeah all right so we're going to get to it, you guys. And beginning with Cancer, the zodiac sign of Cancer. What love messages? Love, love, love is in the air for Cancer, the zodiac sign of Cancer. Remember, guys, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. Please keep that in mind. If you want to know about your own situation and the outcome, the possible outcomes, which uh, are pretty dang accurate if you want to know the truth of it, well, all you got to do is email me at shadowbyutero at gmail.com and we can go ahead and book that private reading for you. And I have here the King of Cups wanting to come out very badly. All right, we have the Tower. The Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. The Ten of Wands. The Two of Wands. I'm going to pull another one. The Queen of Cups. And underneath the deck we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, let's get started with this. Interesting, 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 you guys. So, the overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Grounded energy here. Financially stable. Someone here could be dealing with two people easily. Okay? Okay. So, this is someone who depicts the mother figure, okay? Very similar energies to the empress, okay? 
sorry you guys um but this is similar energies okay so the empress and the queen of pentacles to me both have the mother earth figure uh fertility abundance a great deal of love nurturing stability of home stability of life in general career materialistic things you know earth you know pentacles is the physical okay and it's career and money stability and you have those energies for this situation right here okay also could be dealing with an earth sign person cancer you could be dealing with you know, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person. That could be someone in your energies. Doesn't have to be, but it easily could be. All right. As well as another water sign person. You know, can another Cancer or Pisces, Scorpio. So, I'm not saying it's definite, but those are the strongest energies I'm seeing and feeling. And with... You know, one of these people out of these court cards here is representing you. And I feel that it is the King of Cups representing you. Doesn't have to be a man, can be a female. It's the energies of that person. And here is someone else, okay? So I do feel that the majority of who I'm speaking to, you're dealing with two people. Okay, you have to decide between two people. And what I mean by that is I don't feel, well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to begin the reading with the King of Cups. The King of Cups, the feeling I'm getting right, you know, is this is an emotional person. Okay. And he loves deeply, yet the King of Cups is someone who can commit, will commit, but he's got to be really in that romantic love, you know, and I also feel with this King, I'm getting messages of possible alcoholism or just overindulgence in drinking, okay, um... But this is someone who I feel has already offered their love and is waiting to see what happens. I feel strongly someone is getting out of a relationship and getting into another relationship, okay? And so that's how I feel. The strongest energies and feelings I'm getting from this reading, Cancer, is you are getting out of a relationship but starting another one okay and i feel this has your emotions a little bit scattered and i'm sorry about that i don't know why that's doing that so okay this is you i feel the energies coming from this card and you know what you want. You sit in your power. You're looking at what you want. You know what you want. But there's some turmoil surrounding that. And the tower sits next to this king of cups. So this is everything. Just the lid being blown off the tower. The tower. All the bullshit's falling away. The lies. The sneaking around perhaps. Just whatever the negative energies are, whatever is going on, whatever negative you have is leaving, is being gotten rid of. The universe is taking over and a new beginning is going to begin because, see, the fire that starts within this tower from the lightning strike cleanses the tower. The negativity is cleansed. It's kicked out falls away the tower is destroyed by fire which also cleanses for a new beginning okay and i do feel cancer that you have 
I feel that whoever this is for, you were in a toxic relationship and a toxic environment. Something, it was just not a good place to be. That's ending, okay? But the truth is coming out. Like, everything is going to be exposed for what it is, all right? And I do feel it had something to do with this person with this earth energy, all right? I'm looking. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this does show that you are about to end a cycle. Once this tower moment happens, this cycle, this relationship is ending. But you see, look at all the work that was put into the relationship. Look at all this financial stability. And this is also depicting a single person who wants to be in a relationship, who has what they want in life, who has that self-satisfaction, you know, looking at their achievements and accomplishments, has that financial security. However, you know, this person does want to share the fruits of their labor with someone. They want to share... The one thing they really want is something that they don't already have, and that is that commitment, that committed relationship. This is also uh, a wish fulfillment. Okay, this is what you have attained in the physical with the pentacles. This is at the end of a cycle. A cycle is about to completely end, but you have financial security things that you have worked towards, you are absolutely leaving a difficult situation behind and moving toward a calm situation, a calm environment, something more structured and stable. You are communicating cancer with someone at a long distance. You are going, moving perhaps a long distance to begin anew. Okay? I strongly feel that. Because after this tower moment, okay, this Six of Swords sits underneath this tower. All right? Yes, you are moving away from turbulent waters, going into smoother waters. You are going the distance. You see the swords in this boat and the Six, that's all communication. You are communicating with someone at a long distance. You are moving away. <clears throat> Whoever it is that you're going to meet or be with is at a long distance, all right? Underneath the Nine of Pentacles is the Ten of Wands, which also, you know, intensifies the messages and validates the messages that, guess what? That's the end of that horrible cycle. The tower moment happened. All the bullshit fell away. It all came out. You have financial stability. You have everything you've worked for that you're going to take with you. You're going to leave and move on to a better situation. All the burdens that have been on your back, that, that time with the 10, that time is done. That life cycle is over. That time in your life is over. It's ending. Okay? That's something you have to look forward to. It is ending, and these burdens on your back, all that's about to be released. Because you are ending a cycle here and beginning another cycle. Next to the Ten of Wands and under the Six of Swords is the Two of Wands. Okay? And what this is... This is you waiting for your ships to come in. This is a decision that has been made. All right. This is taking action. And this is movement. And I feel that you will find your place to settle 
you will move a distance, I do feel. Strongly, whoever this is for will be moving a distance from that situation they were in and starting over. All right? But you are moving, but you're still waiting for someone to come to you. They are still at a distance, okay? And you see here, the Queen of Cups is following this Two of Wands. <clears throat> okay? So, I feel you are looking forward into either offering love to someone else or someone's going to come in and offer love to you. So, I, let me tell you what, let me grab my other deck. Let me pull a couple of more cards here. Woo! I got cards that flew everywhere. Let me grab this one. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, well. That is what you call life. Look, I'm throwing them all over the place, y'all. Just ain't my day, huh? We have the Eight of Cups. I don't want them flying all over. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the High Priestess. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So... I do absolutely feel you are still waiting. You still have love to give cancer. You still love that person. All right. You could, some of you could be dealing with two people and get involved, but I'm more feeling, you know, leaning more into that is also the lingering effects of what you left behind. You understand, like the lingering emotions. I, I'm leaning more into feeling that's not actually somebody else. For some of you, it may be, but that's a weak. I'm getting a very, very weak energy from this one. I feel that this is you being melancholy here, even though you still, you look forward to being with someone else. You look forward to finding that new beginning with someone else, and you will have it, okay? But this is lingering energies of your feelings in this situation, and perhaps the person you're leaving behind does not want to break up. However, you are turning your back and moving forward away from them, okay? You don't want that anymore. You see how this went? You're getting rid of your burdens with the 10. It's over. Okay, you moved on. You're waiting for your ships to come in. And here you have this. So I do feel that Queen of Cups energy feels stronger to me of a residual energy of your emotions I feel that you are reflecting back into how you felt, you know, what you gave and how burdensome this was. And this was how you felt about what you put into this relationship. But however, you're still not looking back. And you are stronger 
for it. You are having a new beginning. This is also the sword of truth, the sword of communication, and the sword of swift action. Okay, and I do feel you cut away the bullshit with this. And the high priestess here is saying, I feel she's pushing forward physically. So you are going to keep moving forward, Cancer. However, the truth, not the truth, but the future is still yet unknown. You will be successful. You absolutely will. Because look at the energies here. Okay, you have two aces here. All right, you are going to have a secure new beginning. And I think you're going to have to rely a lot on your intuition. And you're going to have to accept. And you see how her foot is in the water. There's still a lot of emotion here, residual feelings of emotion. And looking back and thinking about what you went through. But you still are going forward and starting new okay and that's my messages for you cancer that's what I have for you today so if you have any questions about that you guys just message me in the comments below you can email me shadowbytarot gmail.com I'd be glad to answer your question but that is the strongest really predominant messages that I'm getting for you at this moment of this reading, Cancer. So, we are going to begin. Let me mark this down. 21. All right. I got to write it down, y'all. <laughs> so, we are going to go with Pisces. Okay, so we're going to start Pisces. Let me get my cards ready and let me readjust here. And like I've said... These messages will not resonate with everyone. If you want a more catered reading for you and you alone with your own situation, a private reading is the only way you're going to truly get that, okay? These readings are for a very small majority of you or could even be one person. You know, that's always possible. You only, you know if it resonates and if it resonates great let me know if it doesn't resonate let me know okay but if you'd like a private reading we still have readings on holiday special to december 31st email me at shadowbyutero gmail.com we'll get that book for you and i'll go ahead and we can get that taken care of also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and like and share. Give me that thumbs up. Y'all need that. Ooh, give it to me. Thumbs up. So, make comments. I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. Subscribe, and I appreciate you guys being here watching. And we are going to roll into Pisces. What's going on with you and love? And let's see what we have here. Remember, these vi this video is being time-stamped, okay? So let me get my cards together. And we are going to go with Pisces. Pisces in love. All right. Get these together, y'all. Get this out the way.
Whoa. All right, I got two wanting to come out. I'm going to put them on the side, okay? I have an Ace of Swords here and a Page of Cups. I'm going to just leave that to the side for now. Pisces and love. What are the messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces? Love messages. Pisces. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Very good, very good. Whoa. Damn, Two of Wands wanting to fly out there. Wheel of Fortune. Whoa. All right, I'll take it. The moon. I have cars just flying out all the damn place. Let's... Look at that. All right, the fool wanting to come out. It's crazy. The strength card, I'm going to put that on the side. A lot of messages coming out for you, Pisces. Look at that shit. It comes out again. All right. Wow. We have the Three of Swords here. Underneath the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. Whew, that's heavy. That is heavy. All right, Pisces, here you are. That's your card, baby. So, hmm. Look at this. That was that. Okay, so the first two cards that look like they wanted to show their faces here is the energy of the Ace of Swords, which is New Beginnings, also the Sword of Truth, the Sword of Justice to me. All right? The Sword of Communication. Absolutely New Beginnings, a lot of communication going on with this. And the Page of Cups, which is overall happy messages. Okay, sweet communication and happy messages. And I would also let you know this. The strength card is here. All right. The strength card is here. Somebody has tamed the beast. Has learned how to tame the beast. And this is the infinity symbol. Okay, this is the strength to carry on. This is the strength, the inner strength to face all of life's challenges. And to handle it with grace and to handle things calmly, rationally, logically, and to not be dissuaded, to just continue forth, to continue forward and bravely and courageously facing the challenges that life throws at you. And I'm going to tell you why, because you have the energies of the Ten of Swords. This is the end of a cycle. Somebody here, some Pisces here, has some big major life changes going on. Okay? Somebody has betrayed you, Pisces. Whoever these messages are for. The Ten of Swords marks the end of that betrayal. The feeling of being stabbed in the back by more than one person, mind you. Alright? Which makes sense because look at this. Okay? That Three of Swords. So somebody is definitely, you know, was... Um, in a third party situation and it looks like you're the one Pisces that took the blunt the brunt whatever you want to call it of that you were the one heartbroken and crying you were the one betrayed in a third party situation but that situation that's done okay and here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, this family situation is over with. Alright. Someone here was a stable family unit. 
a young family it looks like but that's over there was a lot of abundance and stability a lot of true love and happiness with this however somebody betrayed the other person but all that is ending all that is ending and it's something that just recently happened or is happening like the process of these energies are happening now or just have happened sitting next to the ten of pentacles is the two of wands and this is someone waiting waiting for their ship to come in waiting for action waiting for movement waiting to know what choices to make now but this is someone I feel is relocating okay and but is somebody in an indecisive they want to move forward they want to take action they want to settle down but they have to go they have to go and do it somewhere else so the wheel of fortune sits underneath this ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor you will still have abundance you will still have financial security you will have an overall new life a life cycle for you has changed okay and it has ended or is ending now this is a very very good new beginning this is an abundant and happy new beginning this is stable all right and here you are Pisces that's your card you're not sure what the future holds yet but this is your life that's changing underneath the wheel of the year which is the wheel of fortune is the fool and the fool is moving the fool is taking new chances you know starting a new journey at a long distance too new beginnings moving forward bravely with the strength card leaving all this behind that is over because this marks this absolutely moving forward sitting next to the full and under the moon is the three of swords so you're still heartbroken over this deception but you see the ten reduced to a three so you're getting over it and it'll be easier for you to get over it Pisces when you completely move away from physically move away from that environment I think absolutely because see that 10 is reduced you have a lot to look forward to you have a lot to gain but you have to get away from this to be able to obtain this and you will and you will be successful and you will have the strength to endure very good actually it is good because you're strong enough you're smart enough to know you got to get out of that to have anything to have anything worth having to have anything worth fighting for to have anything I mean you have and know your self value and worth Pisces you are taking charge taking control and getting the fuck out and saying later <laughs> sucks to be you asshole and you hitting it yeah I'm making it sound easier than what it's actually happening there but basically that's what's happening and you will be fine 
Oh, you will be just fine. You're going to have what you need and what you desire. You're going to have that. You don't need that bullshit. And guess what? You're cutting it out. Cutting it out. And you will have awesome new beginnings. So, Pisces, that was your reading. Let me know what you thought. Leave comments down below. Boop, boop, boop. And whether it resonated for you or not, let me know. I want to know this stuff, okay? And if you would like a reading with me to know your own personal situation for whoever did not resonate or whoever did, if you want to look into it further, we can do that with a private reading. Just email me at shadowbyutero.gmail.com and I'll be glad to book that for you and we can get that done. Get some answers going. Find out what's happening, what's going on for you. What does your future look like in regards to your own situation? And I'm getting my cards ready here. We are going to read Scorpio. Scorpio in love. What's happening, Scorpios? Still being bad. You Scorpios, y'all something else. I'm going to just tell you. Y'all something else, Scorpio. Mm-mm-mm. Hot mess on two feet. You know I got to pick on y'all. So let's see what's happening for my Scorpios. Remember, Scorpio, these messages will not resonate with everyone. If you would like to know your own messages for your own situation, email me at shadowbyutero.gmail.com and we will absolutely do a booking for a private personal reading for you. Subscribe, like, and share my videos, you guys. I really appreciate it. Leave me comments. Give me the thumbs up. Hit that bell notification button to know when I post my new videos. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your time. Let's get started finding out what the hell's going on for Scorpio in love. Woo, y'all so contrary. Let's find out what's happening. Woohoo! All right. My cards are just about ready almost here I'm a all right let me move the camera sorry about that Scorpio in love what's happening Scorpio what is going on with you guys love 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 messages for the zodiac sign of Scorpio Scorpio the Scorpion in love. Whoa, shoot. I'll tell you what. If they want to come out, they'll come back. Whoa, shit. All right. So we have the Eight of Wands. Ah, messages from a long distance. The world. And the Knight of Wands. Whoa. All right. Somebody's at a long distance. Somebody is traveling. Remember, guys, these messages will not resonate with everyone, but I do feel this particular spread is for an older person. The world, oh, look at this. These tried to come out before. So we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Chariot. I'm going to put them to the side, okay? Fast forward movement, somebody feeling like they have to defend themselves. We have the Queen of Swords here. Somebody's cutting out some bullshit. What you guys got up y'all sleeve? What happened? This is something that has happened already that somebody's going to be, could be somebody from the past. You guys are moving forward towards Scorpio. Not saying everybody, but somebody is. Oh, and here is your card, baby. Scorpio, that's your card. Death, damn. 
you are absolutely, most definitely, whoever this reading is for, you are most definitely moving forward and towards someone that you already know. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you feel the need to defend yourself. The Two of Swords. <clears throat> and we have the Knight of Swords energy here. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Scorpio, it is you moving forward quickly. All right? Cutting out the bullshit. You are moving in. You move in too fast, though. You don't think before you act. And that is the thing. Once you decide to act, you just hit it. You just go, 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 go without thinking it through. And that's what's happening here. You're coming in quick with messages. Lots of messages. You're like, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. It could be through text. It could be through email. But it's absolute, definite, fast communication, forward movement for you. I'm telling you, you are the one communicating. This Passionate messages from a long distance. Scorpio, you are at a long distance from your target person, from the person you are thinking about and want to communicate with. Okay, you will send these passionate messages. They will be back and forth, quick response. I do feel more air. So, yeah, you will be texting or emailing someone very soon if you have not already. Sitting next to this Eight of Wands is the World Card. So some of you may be in another country or this just shows you have achieved all this in your life cycle thus far. And you do still have, you have a new beginning starting basically, okay? You have already accomplished all these things. You are an experienced person someone who is experienced of the world who has quite a few notches on your belt okay life experience relationships career all that you've done it been there done that now you want something else now you're ready for you you're tired of playing you've already created what you wanted to you did what you needed to do. You played around. You did your stuff. You worked also. But now you're ready for something else. And you already know what you want. Underneath that Eight of Wands is the Knight of Wands. So when you physically decide to approach this person, Scorpio, you will do so with passion in mind. You will do so <clears throat> wanting to seduce this person, okay? And look at you all slick ricked out. I say that it could be male or female, um, but mm -hmm. all ready for the lust and the dust and let's get it on and this and that. That is absolutely you doing this and I feel with these actions, with this communication, and with the swiftness that you move forward in, because there is going to be a truth being told here by you. Okay, I do feel that there will be truthful communications that you bring in. Apparently well received. Okay, you will also communicate the passion, the physical desire, the want that you have to be with this person. When you physically are able to approach them, you will do so no hose barred with intention of seduction in mind. This action that you take, keep in mind what I'm telling you, listen to me good. This is going to change your life. Okay, you're going to feel good about this. 
You're going to feel up in the air a little bit about it, making sure, is am I doing the right thing, as Scorpios always do, question and question and question themselves. However, you are going to completely transform your life for this relationship. I absolutely do believe that. You have changed from the person you used to be. Completely life transitioning. Out with the old, in with the new. And that's what you're bringing to the table here. You're not going to do the, the um, love it and leave it, love them and leave them, whatever deal that you've been up to. You are going to completely transform. You have changed. What you want has changed. You set your sights on what you want to accomplish and you do it. You are going to completely transform. And you know how I know? Because see this Queen of Swords sitting next to that Knight of Wands? She don't play no shit. This person you're dealing with is going to cut through the bullshit and say, okay, boom, 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 straight talk, straight talk and communication. Yes, I care about you. Yes, these are my emotions and my feelings, but you see this sword, I will cut your ass down. You will be communicating and you will be honest with it. You will be straight with me. You will not bullshit me. If you don't have nothing good to offer, motherfucker, hit the door. And that's basically the kind of person you're dealing with. That's going to change you. You don't want to be the love them and leave them. You feel that passionately and that strongly for this relationship. You're still undecided what to do. But you will move forward. You will feel and you will have to defend yourself. Okay? Okay? You will have to defend your, yourself and I feel explain. So get ready for it. Get ready to be truthful and explain yourself. Yeah, you're going to be self, you know, defensive, but that's normal. Scorpios are like that. And here you go with the chariot. You know, you see the light and the dark. You see the reality of the situation. It's just like any other. You know, relationships have good and bad with them, okay? <laughs> That's how it is. That's what it is to be in a relationship. But you can see both sides and you're going to move forward with the relationship anyway. You want this relationship. And you are moving full speed ahead, full, I mean, you, you want this. You are going to take it and run with it. You are going to have the relationship and move forward together. No matter the differences that you have, you still really want to be with this person. Apparently, this is a person, and I do see a lot of fire energy here, air and fire. Could be any sign. That is an absolute fact. It could be any sign. The energies I'm picking up are fire and air, the strongest predominantly. Yeah. So fire being Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, you could be dealing with that person or just the energies. It's just that passion here, that fire and passion. And also you could be dealing with an air sign person, you know, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Doesn't have to be those signs, you guys, but those are the stronger elemental energies that I'm picking up here. Okay? If you guys want to know more about your situation, you know, come to me. Let's book a reading. Shadowbyetero.gmail.com. Find out what's going on with you. Be in the know. Don't be in the dark. Be in the know. You can help, you know, change things around. You know, get confidence in yourself. Be strong. Move forward. Speak. You know, tell people how you feel. Be honest. Be straight. Get it out. Lay it on the table. Boom. Here it is. You would not want any less. That's a fact. 
you would not want any less so don't do it to somebody else be honest with them up front and you will get a whole lot better response and you know an honest reciprocation you will get honesty right back at you which that is what you want you will have a stronger foundation to build okay once everything is out in the open and you, you move forward this is not a somebody you don't know Scorpio this is somebody you do know and you are ready to be with that person like you are very ready to be with that person but you are at a distance from them but you will not be at a distance forever once you're able to physically approach them you're not hesitating but you will reach out to them prior to physically seeing them you already know what you want there you go tell me how you like the video whether or not it resonated leave me a comment subscribe to my channel like woo, and share my videos I appreciate you I appreciate your time reach out to me guys communicate with me let me know what's going on let me know how you're doing you know and I will see you guys soon 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 thank you so much bye